Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today's system is from the user Rusty1890, so a massive thank you to them for sending their system for today. And their system is called the Stellaris Trinary Remastered and this name does actually ring a bell to me and they even said remaster of the previous system, more objects, more stuff put into it, more elbow grease. So that fair I do. Let's see what they have prepared for us here. So it's an update. I do remember this one. There it is. Solaris Trinary. I, I, yeah, this one does ring a bell. Um, so let's see what we got here. See if I can recognize any of this stuff. He's got a cool... He had like a custom thumbnail for it. So if you look here. That's quite cool. It's got like a camera. That's good. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll that as a thumbnail actually. Nice. It's not, if anyone does like custom thumbnails for their systems, I'll happily put them as the video thumbnails as well. Because um, they're quite cool. Um, right. The Solaris Trinary Remastered. A remastered version of the Starless Chinese system by the same guy who made it. So, discovered in by hu or discovered when humans reached the Alpha Centauri in the 2230s, the Solaris Trino system is hidden behind Alpha Centauri at a distance of, from the Sun of about 7 light years and 2 light years for Alpha Centauri. Comprised of 3 stars, 1 whitish blue main sequence star, 1 yellow main sequence star and a pulsar. So, stars. Stellaris. It's a main sequence star around the same size as Sirius A in the later stage of the main sequence. It is 89% more massive and 47% wider than the sun. So, there is Stellaris A there, looking good. Very, very bright, as we can see. Uh, we've got Kalen, which is a K-type star. So, that is here. About the same size as Alpha Centauri B. Uh, not much else to be said other than it's surprisingly high concentration of uranium. Perhaps the Moonwatcher and humans aren't the only species who have paid a visit here. And lastly, Light Beacon. This is the Pulsar, isn't it? Heading there at the end. There it is. Zoom all the way in. There you go. It's a Pulsar, one of the lowest mass pulsars ever found on record, and by far the closest. It hosts a debris field and three zombie planets formed from the debris. Fairly cool. Okay, so on to the planets. So we've got Flamus. So I'm guessing we're going all the way around the main star first, aren't we? So Solaris A down here. There's Flamus. Ooh, I like that design. Looks good. Um, a hot Jupiter class of gas giant. Its clouds tainted red and yellow with a band of pink due to unusual chemistry and liquid gemstones in the atmosphere. It's kicked out at least five small Merc-sized planets in its time in the current orbit. It has one moon as well. Primaz here. Nice. Looking good. Very nice. Next up, we've got uh, Trinity. It's a hot desert class of rocky planet. Parts of its surface are partly molten with high metal content all across the planet. Such metals include, but not limited to, cobalt, titanium, aluminium, zinc, iron, and carbon. It's a major mining hub, just like Mercury, in the Sol system. Okay. Next up, we have got uh, Elton. So we're skipping this Una planet then? What's this? Oh, no, we know Una. Sorry, I'm just being weird. So here's Una. Look at the rings on that. Very nice set. Hey, let's go to... um. There you go, Speller. Yeah, there you go. Surprised the shadow's not on. It was a shadow feature, wasn't there? I don't know if that switched on, do I? Or is it... Needs to go to realistic. Oh, no, we'll keep on enhanced. Yeah, there you go. So, anyway... It's a hot satin class of gas shine. Its rings are mostly comprised of rock. Its clouds are tainted yellow due to sulfur and some unusual chemistry. It currently has zero moons. Okay. So now heading to Elton. That's a huge ring system, isn't it? Yeah, nice set of them. Um, over here. Ooh. Interesting. Discovered by uh, John or Jim Elton in 2235 during the first exoplanetary mission to the Trinary, Elton is a cool Venus type of planet with a thick atmosphere of toxic gases and liquid water in a pressurized state. Very cool. You see the very thick atmosphere. There's the cloud. It's got enhanced clouds on it. He's got a custom modded stat. Yeah, 10,000 coverage. So he's been playing in the files. There it is. I, I wish you could make these because you need you know, the custom. You can make a really cool custom Venus with stuff like this. Hmm. Looks good. But anyway, underneath, you can see the little patches of water on it as well. Very nice. But a toxic -y world, nonetheless. Moving on, we've got Aster, which is here. Ooh, hello. Hey. Discovered by telescopes by both Iris, Pluto, and Planet 9 between 2230 and 2231, Aster is, a, an, is an Earth analogue of the Solaris Trinity system, home to the Moon Watchers, a humanoid species very similar to humans. It's got a very large moon as well. There's its moons. It's got a lime green moon here. 
and then let's have a look at the planet itself so purple surface got a bit of an eclipse going on at the moment as well very nice then its largest moon uh, lunaria here also colonized very similar to the parent planet in appearance there you go so moving on we've got fenrir which is the analog of mars expect it's warmer and the surface water so it's like a colonized mars oh hello looks good doesn't it and being eyed by basically every corporate interested in terraforming so it's a mars terraforming progress got some moons as well probably like phobos and demos by looks of things yep nice then we got ribit which is it's a hidden planet in there of no description what's this uh kearney over here guessing this is like a series kind of world yeah quite small isn't it there it is okay so head to rye bed next oh i like oh i like the colors on that oh, that's fancy isn't it hey oh yeah okay this is one of the jupiter analogs here expect it's an eye shine that migrated inwards during formation its ring system is big but not the biggest found we saw that we saw that bigger one Oh, I do apologise if you can hear anything loud outside. Some uh, loud vehicles going fast. But anyways, that's a great looking gas shunt. I really like that. Has some moons as well. Got Cherno here. Looks like it's cleaned its orbit in the ring system. Look, you can see it's got a nice big gap in there. We've got one bigger moon over here as well. Got orange surface water on it. Interesting. Reminds me of Titan somewhat, but without the thick atmosphere. There it is. Very red. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. So next up, we are heading to Mysteria. So no info available, no info. So what is going on here? A mysterious world. Very dark in colour. It is rocky. Looking underneath. Very, very dark and mysterious. Hence the name. There you go. And then lastly, we've got Toppy over here. Very exotic looking gas giant here. Hello. Okay. Gas giant with aerial life near the northern pole. The life lives in colonies making green ships on the cloud decks. Nice design. Nice concept. And we've got some moons as well. Very nice. Good stuff. And there's one comet going around the main star. I've really got Brennan's Comet here. If it let me select it, that would be lovely. That is a weird game. There you go. Click on the comet. Go to the comet. I'm clicking once. It should only disappear if you do a double click. Look. Double click is what hides the background. Why does it do that? Game. Behave. <laughs> click on it. There you go. So... There is the comet. Okay, there you are. Next up, we are moving to Chorus. So this is the next star now. Uh, Solaris B. So we've got Cornus. A core of a former gas giant. Resources are sparse. Gas orbits in its orbit and orbital drag are dragging it into the star. Okay. Not good. We've got Hagger here. Despite looking inhabitable, Hagger has an unbreathable atmosphere and no life. Life never arose on this planet due to the conditions in its formation, which has low phosphorus, a key ingredient for life. Not good. And then we have Mia. Which is here. Super Jupiter with a moon theorized to be habitable. Claws. That's a nice looking gas giant as well. I like that. Yes. So there's the moons. So Claws, this is the one that's thought to be hattable. There it is. Looking good. Nice. Right, moons. Chlorosium. So where's that? Search. Oh, this goes back. Oh, so we already visited these. Okay, so the green moon from earlier. A small moon with a dense chlorine atmosphere and natural active natural gas vents, which are chlorine. Then we've got Lunaria, which is the second moon around the Hattable planet. Hattable moon with a traditional sense, a bit larger than Luna, with breathable atmosphere, plant life, water, everything. We've got Ari here, which is the... Oh, yeah, we, this is around the gas giant, wasn't it? Yep. That one would look like Titan. Host of chlorine-based life, only one of its kind within the nearest 500 systems analog of Titan. Oh, yeah. And then lastly, Claws, which we just visited. Has seasonal oceans at the equator... It has been eye for terraforming, but it is on the back burner in favour of Hagger and Fenrir. Okay, awesome. So there's those guys. And then we have some Jibble text, and that's it. So I think the uh, last stuff to visit is the zombie star with the zombie planets. There's also mysterious things out here, so we'll check those out as well. 
So Slara C, so the light beacon. So here we are. So worlds formed from the debris. So we've got Vulcan here. There it is. Very dark, mysterious, cold. Probably getting a lot of radiation. Also got this one here. Geist over here. Looking good. And then Polter, gas giant. Not that large, but there it is. Seven radius of Earth. There you are. So there's your zombie planets. Then we have Frost over here. So no descriptions for any of these. On the far reaches, it's like a Sedna-like planet. And then Istamas over here. What's going on here? Oh, oh there's a binary. Two dwarf planets in a binary. Okay. Nice. In the deep darkness of space. Zoom out further. Ah, oh, they've even got like a little, hey, like the Oort Cloud. Hell yeah, it's got its own Oort Cloud. So we've got Alpha Centauri. So this is for reference. So Alpha Centauri is there. Because remember at the beginning he said it was like two, two, eight, or it was two light years from Alpha Centauri, which was seven light years from the sun. Um, overall, says so the sun as well for distance. Has it even got Earth in the simulation? Hey. So distance from Earth. So Earth can look in that direction and see Solaris system. Very, very cool indeed. So there you go. That is your lineup. Nice, I like that. Very, very good system. I do. I think I remember the zombie planet especially. But yeah, I, I don't remember the planets being this sophisticated in the customization. So very, very nice job indeed. Really enjoyed that. Hope you guys did as well. Let me know what you think down below in the comments of it. That was a, that was a good old system that was. I like that. Really enjoyed that. See, that was from Rusty1890 in Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending that in. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed it, like I said, let's see if we can get for 100 likes on today's video, guys. And also subscribe for more helps in the journey to 50,000 subscribers. With that all said and done, everybody, make sure you stay safe out there. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.